Hello everyone, uh, I'm MCC. Uh, welcome to More Stuff Coin Collection Channel. Um, unlike the released coins from other countries, as you know, uh, the mint from Australia prefer to keep the native animals on the reverse of the coin, uh, such as um, the cute ones like kangaroos, koala, kookaburra, and swan, and even the deadly and dangerous one. You know, but besides those, there are some other some animals which are also native to Australia, and you rarely find those anywhere in the world. Those are called uh, marsupials. Just in case you are not uh, familiar with uh, uh, marsupials, those are the animals carrying their young ones in a pouch, a mother's stomach. And the most popular ones are the world famous kangaroos and koalas. Uh, this time, I'm going to introduce another marsupial to you. One but. Ta da! People from other countries, uh, without seeing them before, may call them tiny bear, maybe because of their short legs and uh, strong body. Um, they are not even close to the massive size of a bear, actually. Um, however, they are the largest burrowing ant mammals in the world, which means they are very good at digging and clawing tunnels. So you may wonder what makes them the perfect diggers. First, um, they their sturdy body, which is very heavy, with a weight of uh, about 20 to 35 kilogram for the adult ones, and with a maximum length of one meter. This weight and size is fairly large for marsupials. Second, their powerful claws, which are long and sharp, and the teeth is very much like a rodent, making them the experts in biting hard objects. As wombats are herbivores living in a dry climate, they don't drink water. This means they get their water requirements for their bodies by eating plants only, including grass, herbs, and roots. There are three wombat species, including the endangered northern hairy nose ones based in Queensland. Uh, the threatened southern hairy-nosed one based in South Australia and the bare-nosed wombats in Southeast Asians in like uh, New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania. Based on Australia, uh, Wombat Foundation official website, there are a couple of main facts about the northern hairy-nosed wombat, which has the least population compared to the other two species. Um, Population. As of today, only uh, 315 northern hairy nosed wombats are left in the world, and all of them are currently under protection. When I say protection, I mean they are protected by human beings. Weight. Um, they are heaviest among these three species who can uh, reach the body weight of 40 kilograms. Uh, running speed. Um, they can run with a spe running speed of uh, 40 uh, kilometers per hour, but only in a short distance. Uh, life expectancy. They can live for more than 30 years if living in a confined areas. Let's go back to the topic of silver coin. Uh, let me put some diagram on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. Just a moment. Okay, about the silver coin series. The Wombat Coins series released start in year 2021. Um, as you can see, with a maximum mintage of 25,000. Um, the finish was a uh, um, uh, bullion coins, and there was no uh, colored version in the first year release. In the following year, which was uh, 2022, there was a second design of Wombat with the same maximum mintage uh, of 25,000 for the bullion coins. In addition to that, a colored version with a maximum of uh, 2,500 was released in the same year. Here comes the third Wombat design this year in two 2023 with consistent number of maximum mintage for its bullion and colored silver coins. 
um, the difference between uh, the bullion coins and the colored um, colored coins are the wombat itself, uh, which is one of the reasons I feel like uh, it is more eye peeling when it is in color. However, the color uh, make it make the price double of the bullion coins. Um, although I didn't start collecting the Wombat series from the first release, I was lucky enough to have uh, all the colored ones so far, and I'm going to collect more um, colored Wombat coins, uh, silver coins in the future year. A designer for the three designs is the same person who is Jennifer uh, McKenna. She's also the designer of the Tiger on Australia Luna series third silver coin year 2022 um, I think the design is very detailed and vivid now it is a show time um, I will try to um, take them out uh, so you can have a clear picture of them okay hope it's easy to take them out I'd also like to take out the 2022 version as well. One second. All right. Bring it closer to the camera. This is the 2023 version. Okay. And this is 2022 version as comparison. Okay, so uh, basically the illustration card, they call it illustration card, it has a like a fold out stand. If I turn it around and see, like that's this one, one or two, so I can fold out and uh, I can make them upright display position. And uh, if I like, um, for me, probably at the moment, I want to keep them like that, which is easy to store and uh, prevent them from exposing um, to the sunlight when they are not in use. Um, basically, the, the as you can see, the coin is housed in a um, uh, protective uh, acrylic um, capsule in the card. At the moment, I, it seems like they are glued together with the card, so I won't um, take it out now. Um, unless in the future I'd like to send them to uh, say grading services for coin grading or replace the capsule uh, with a new one after so many years um, but uh, uh, comparing uh, the, these two colored coins uh, as you can see uh, like a 2023 design is very consistent with last year except they changed the background color um, the location of the coin itself is exactly in the same spot. So turn it back, there's not much difference um, on this side. Except the, on the coin itself, uh, we have a memorial feature uh, this year. And back to here, and both of these say one but and to the top. And the year date and the one of the uh, 9999 silver and the bottom. Okay, I guess uh, that's the end of my show today. I know it's a very short, uh, but I guess that's all the information I have on my hand to show you guys. Um, have a nice day, and I'll, I will talk to you in the next episode. Again, uh, thanks for watching and please share it with your friends if you think they are also interested in watching. Um, bye now.